hello everyone you're welcome to my channel and um, what we do here is to provide detailed solution to math problems so before us we have k to the power of 3 equals 27 over 8 and we want to solve this into detail to provide the three solutions k to the power of 3 equals 27 over 8. Now, because I have power of 3 on the left, I can arrange this to have power of 3 on the right. So we have k to the power of 3, that is equal to 3 to the power of 3 over 2 to the power of 3. Because 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and 3 to the power of 3 is 27. Now, k to the power of 3 is equal to I can combine this if you have a to the power of 2 over b to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a over b both to the power of 2. Okay, so I will apply the same thing to get 3 over 2 both to the power of 3. Now, take what you have on the right to the left. k to the power of 3 minus 3 over 2 to the power of 3 will be equal to 0. Now remember this as well, that if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, it is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus ab plus b squared. But in this case, our a is k and our b is 3 over 2. So let's substitute directly into this equation. Okay, if you're loving what we're doing, subscribe, okay? That is the only way you can be helping. Now, we have A minus B, and that will now be K minus B, which is 3 over 2, in the first bracket. Then, in the second, we have A squared, which will be K squared. Then, plus AB, which will be K multiplied by B, 3 over 2. Then I have plus b squared, which will be 3 over 2 in bracket squared, and it's equal to 0. So we have k minus 3 over 2 as one of the factors. Then I have k squared plus 3k over 2. That is if I multiply k by 3 over 2. Then plus here, we're going to have 9 over 4, and this is equal to 0. So I equate this to 0. Now from here, we can say that it is either k minus 3 over 2 is equal to 0, or k squared plus 3k over 2 plus 9 over 4 equals 0. Now let's continue from here. So our k now is going to be 0 plus 3 over 2. I will get back to that later. And then this means that k is equal to 3 over 2. So this becomes the first solution to the equation. But remember that we are going to find the three solutions. So we are going to get additional two solutions from here since we I have an quadratic um, equation from here. k squared plus 3k over 2 plus 9 over 4 equals 0. So what we are expected to do is to find the LCM. And the LCM is what? 4, right? So 4 multiplied by this will give us 4k squared. Then plus, if you multiply 4 by this, 2 will cancel, 2 will go into the 4. To give us 2. So we, ha we shall have 2 times 3k and that will be 6k plus 4 multiplied by 9 over 4 is 9 because the 4 will cancel itself completely and 4 multiplied by 0 is 0. And I want to believe you know why I was multiplying by 4 because the LCM is 4. So now we have a quadratic equation and we can solve this using the formula. The formula is k equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac 
over 2a. Mind you, the variable you have in the equation is what to determine what you have on the left. Okay, so we are looking for k. Therefore, k should be the subject. Is that okay? So let's substitute into the formula. k will be equal to, we have negative b. This negative b becomes negative 6 because b is a coefficient of k. Then plus or minus, we have the same b squared, which will be 6 squared. Then minus 4 times a, our a is 4. Because a is the coefficient of k squared, then multiply by c, our c is constant, and it is 9. So the whole of this is over 2 times 4, because a is still 4. A is still 4, right? Let's continue. K will be equal to 6. Okay, negative 6. Plus or minus. We have 36 minus 1, 4 to 4. So this will be over 8. Now K is equal to negative 6. Plus or minus. If I subtract this, I have minus 108, which will be over 8. Now, k from here is equal to minus 6, plus or minus, square root of 108, multiplied by square root of negative 1, over 8. What I did here is to pick out this negative here, because if we multiply these two, we are still getting square root of negative 108. Now, this 108 can be simplified so that k will be equal to minus 6 plus or minus square root of 36 multiplied by 3, then multiplied by square root of negative 1. This is over 8 because 36 times 3 will give us 108, right? So k now will be equal to negative 6 plus or minus, square root of 36 is 6, then we have root 3. And then we have this over 8. Then multiply by i, because square root of um, negative 1 is imaginary, which is i. So k now is equal to negative 6, plus or minus 6i, then we have root 3. What I did is to, what I have done is to rearrange so that i and 6 will be multiplied first. So we have this over 8. If you want, you can stop over here or you factorize your 6 out since it's common to this and this. So k will be equal to 6, open bracket, we get um, minus 1 because of this, then plus or minus i root 3. Because this 6 is already out. Then we divide the whole of this by 8. But then 2 can go into this, right? So that we have k to be equal to 2 into this is 3. Then we have minus 1 plus or minus i root 3. Close this. And then 2 into the same 2 into 8 will be 4. Right? So you can decide to write this as k equal to 3 over 4 into minus 1 plus or minus i root 3. So this is a 2-in-1 solution because of this negative and positive. Okay, now let's bring the three solutions together. We got k1 before, that is 3 over 2. Now our k2 is from here, which is 3 over 4 into minus 1 plus i root 3. Close this. Then we have k3, that is also from here, 3 over 4 into negative 1, negative i, then we have root 3. So from here we have three solutions already. Thank you for watching. If you love what I've done, subscribe to my channel.